Tapi kan lu baru juga ngeluarin single. Mm-hmm. Judulnya Handsome. Yeah. Nah suka nih gue Handsome. My middle name. <laughs> uh, itu tentang apa ya? Itu, itu self claim atau kayak? Kayaknya gue kayak during that time I recorded it I was just angry. Punya pasangan yang sex addict. Yeah. Atau pasangan yang super sibuk. Super sibuk kayaknya. Hello, what's up, R- Rupiah Slave? Today we are English. Yes, because the... Apa? The, apa? Tamu apa? Yes, because our guest uh, came all the way from LA. Please welcome Warren Hugh. Hello everyone, hello everyone. Hello Warren, apa kabar? Baik. Bisa, bisa bahasa Indonesia kan tapi ya? Bisa, bisa. Bisa mengerti ya? Yes. Tapi emang gak fasi atau? Uh, it's just I'm not lancar. I'm not lancar. Yes. Very cool man, Jack's alive. <laughs> Baru mulainya dia udah kayak adaptation very quick. That's true. Oke okay, sebelum kita mulai Warren nih ada yang uh, ingin memperlihatkan. Boleh diceritain nggak foto di balik ini? Wow. Ya yeah, ini foto me and Brian. Can, I was gonna show Nanti up the screen. Oke okay, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. So ini foto <laughs> aku sama Brian. Iya. Yeah, aku waktu itu nge-fan Brian. Nge-fans? It, yes. It's like oh jadi awal tuh fans? Yes. I was a really, really big fan. Ini tahun, tahun berapa ingat gak? 2017. 2017, oke. Okay. Yeah. Ketemu di? Di Sensi ini. Di Sensi, oke. Okay. Yes, Nine City. And um, ya, yeah, aku sama teman-teman aku, walked outside, I met Brian. I was like, oh shit, itu Rich Brian. Mm-hmm. And like, we, were, we weren't sure to begin with, but then like, we saw closer and it's like, wow, it's really him. Jadi kita, yeah, we went up to him, asked for a photo, kindly, and we took that photo. And it's in a very weird angle. Tapi kayak... It is very weird angle. <laughs> yeah. Kenapa dari kiri terus kalian kayak ngadep ke arah lain gitu. <laughs> I think the front angle was like really ugly. Oke, okay, jadi yang bilang gitu. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, was from the side. It was like a random video. Screenshot. Gila, ini jadi tahun 2017 yeah. itu for Warren foto sama Rich Brian. Yes. Terus sekarang kalian on the same label. Gila, jadi kayak dreams come true gak? It is kind of crazy. <laughs> is. I don't, I don't, aku gak pikirin... Too much about it. Mm-hmm. I just let it be. Yeah, it, it happened. So, nah, it's, it's crazy. Tapi kan uh, waktu ngefans sama Rich Brian nih, suka sama dia karena apa lagunya kah atau personalitinya atau? Kayaknya itu mixture of everything. Aku aku obviously listen to that stick. Itu yang okay, pertama yeah. kali aku kayak you know understood Brian mm-hmm. and Twitter. Okay. And um, yeah, he he was like a you know he was rapping really well. Itu yang pertama kali kayak orang Indonesia yang per, you know really rap yeah, 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 yeah. in that style. And um, I'm a big fan of music and hip hop. Tapi uh, lo sendiri kan gak mulai musik karena Rich Brian kan? You've been like starting yeah, I, since. Music has been a big part of my family okay. growing up. So I already like music Ingat in gak general. Lagu pertama kali bikin umur berapa? Kayak 14 kayaknya atau 13. Kayak umur itu kayaknya. 13 berarti itu kayak SMP. Yes. Ya, yeah. like garage band. udah bikin lagu. Nah, lagunya udah langsung nge-rap atau enggak? Belum waktu itu. Uh, langsung rap sih. Langsung rap. Yeah, langsung rap. I'm big fan of hip hop. Okay. Yeah. So it was like on garage band, just you know, on my computer. Iya <laughs> yeah, dulu dulu masih garage band ya. Iya yeah, no, iya. Yeah. Iseng iseng lah ya dulu. Yeah, ya itu kayak banyak kayak remix video gitu atau cover. Masih ingat rap song. judul lagunya? It was chopstick. Chopstick. So I did a, actually I did a that stick cover. Okay. Of of Rich Brian in 2017. Okay. And I think I was 14 in that picture. I'm not sure. Atau 15 atau 14. Oh jadi emang gitu. malah di sini di tahun ini nih? Tahun itu ya, ya, ya itu benar. Ya, yeah. bentuk, bentukan kalian masih kayak anak-anak SMP sih. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Even Brian was really small. Small. He was a small kid. Yeah man. He was like 17, 16. Okay, nah. Uh, yang bikin lu terjun ke musik kan emang dari keluarga tadi? Iya, katanya keluarga emang itu udah suka banget sama musik anak. Yes. Tapi gimana caranya tiba-tiba lo bisa masuk ke label 88 Rising? Ya. Yeah. Nah itu kan such a big wow kayak wow ada uh, Indonesia lagi nih. Waktu itu kan ada Brian sama Niki. Duluan Niki ya? Duluan Brian kayaknya. Oh, maksudnya abis Brian, Niki baru lo? Iya. Yeah. Atau, atau? Yeah, it's Brian, Niki, Stephanie Putri, and then me. Oh, Or from yeah, Indonesia yeah, basically. Benar, benar, ya. Ada yeah, Stephanie yeah. Putri, sorry. Yeah. Berarti lo yang keempat Indonesian yang join 88 Rising. Bener. Sempat kepikiran gak kalau gue bakal join 88 Rising gitu? <laughs> um, not at all. It was like a crazy dream for me. Mm-hmm. Um, 
aku udah bikin musik independently udah 2 tahun sebelum masuk Eddie Rising. Terus um, yeah, I graduated high school mm-hmm. and then I took a gap year. Okay. Because it's COVID kan. Jadi yeah. gua gak mau kayak spend money if I'm not experiencing a campus. Okay, enggak so, online lah ya. Go online basically. So I stayed home. I to focus on music and uh, work with my producer Chasu. So then um, yeah, in that year towards the end, Adia Rising just like hit me up on Instagram and they saw one of my videos on YouTube gitu. Oh. So aku kayak banyak you know posting videos on yeah. YouTube and like making music videos myself gitu. Jadi mulai dari situ. Yeah, mulainya dari YouTube gitu. Okay. Just posting like videos non-stop. Tapi dulu namanya sebelum War, oh, Warren Hugh, itu Warren is Yellow. That's right. Kenapa ganti stage name? Um, I think I wanted to be more professional. I feel like with my name, I wanted to have like something that could work and last longer. Okay. Warren Hugh just seems more of like a realistic. Okay. okay. I love be realistic either. Warren's Yellow is a gamer tag. Gamer tag? Yeah. You used to play games a lot. I used to play like a lot of games. Dulu main game apa tuh yang pakai Warren is Yellow? Um... Yeah, GTA. Oh, semuanya Call of Duty, itu pakainya Warren Yellow. Steam gitu, yeah. Oh, It was Steam, just something yeah, funny yeah. that I had. Jadi kayak, yeah, I guess it's, you know, time Saking to let go. Saking ngefans sama Rich Brian, jadi ngikutin ganti nama apa gimana? Apa enggak? Emang kayak, enggak kayak gue juga butuh ganti nama aja. Enggak sih, kayak, it's just like I wanted to, you know, have a real name. Oh, have almost. a real name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Betul, betul. <laughs> exactly. Lebih bagus juga kalau Warren Hugh. Yeah, Warren Yellow. Warren is Yellow, get... Yellow di game aja udah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tapi sampai sekarang masih. Uh, people can mistreat that name too. Oh, way, just to add. Bener, bener ya. You Nanti dipikirnya I mean? gimana gitu. Padahal itu it's your gamer tag aja ya. It's literally, yeah. And it's a cool color. It's a, it's a very cool color, yes. Yeah. Nah, lu kan sempat rilis tadi, lu uh, ngomong sebelum ATA Rising Contact, itu lu udah 2 tahun independent music. Yeah. And then you release an album called Sugar Town. Yes. On 2019. Yeah. Itu berarti a year before COVID ya? Yes, that's a year before COVID. Jadi itu sebelum masuk ATA Rising, you do everything independently. Yeah, I did everything in the Cuman berdua sama tadi your producer yeah. Chasu. 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 Yes. Okay. Kalian yeah. berdua. We aku in... yeah, I could yeah, we just made music online basically. Soalnya Chasu kan dia tinggalnya di Korea mm-hmm. sebenarnya and aku di Jakarta. But okay. we both go to international schools basically. Okay. And ada mutual friends. Mutual oh, friends. Nice, yeah. So that's how we connected. And um yeah, for two years, three years, dia kayak send beat online gitu di oh, okay. Instagram DM atau email gitu. And I would send demos back juga. Jadi yeah, that's how we that's how we would work. On Jadi music. online aja tuh semuanya. Online semuanya, internet semuanya. Tapi yes. setelah lu join ATA Rising, apakah Chasu ikut ke ATA eight or like? Um, Chasu the first year, the first tahun, mm-hmm. dia nggak working sama aku sama sekali. I was just working with different producers. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, when it came to like the festivals mm-hmm. and like, mm-hmm. kan aku lagi proses bikin album during that time. So I invited Chasu. Over, and kebetulan dia di SF, okay. and I'm in LA, so he would come to LA every week to help me. Jadi dari awal kenal online sampai akhirnya bisa kerja bareng yeah, gitu ya. Kerja bareng. Ketemu sekarang. in real life sampai sekarang. Exactly. Berarti kenal Chasu tuh udah lama dong ya? Ya lumayan lama. When I was 16. 2016 ada kali. 2018 kayaknya. Oh 18 an. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see. Nah ini akhirnya kan lu bergabung dengan Idiot Rising. Oke, okay. nama lu tuh waktu itu meledaknya itu di lagu California. Ya. Yeah. Itu bareng Niki dan Brian. Ya. Yeah. Kenapa Stefani Putri enggak diajak? <laughs> Kita punya empat orang Indonesia loh. That's right. I don't know. I uh, it's all on Idiot side. I don't have sorry, any words. Sorry, sorry Stefani ya. Sorry. <laughs> on behalf of Idiot Rising, sorry. She's a very sweet girl. I like Stefani Putri. I met her once in the festival. Okay. Talk to her for a bit. She was cool. She's she she looks very cool. Okay, yeah. tapi kan kalian bertiga akhirnya bikin yeah, California. Yeah. What's the story behind that? We just uh I don't know. I think we just, you know, wanted to come up with something that um, you know, served for Asian Americans mm-hmm. in the United States and at that time it was a very like I don't want to I don't know if I want to mention it, but it was like a very weird time for Asian Americans. Okay. And there was a lot of hate going around, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah, Sean, the CEO of Idea Rising, um, dia bikin ide yang three Indonesians should talk about their perspective on California. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's how it came about. And then we shot the video. We had a lot of Indonesian snacks and everything in the video. And it's just like almost a pride thing for us. A pride know? thing, yeah. yeah. Can we present, gitu, yeah. Represent, gitu, kayak, you know, from 
not even from we're not even Asian Americans. Kami ni kin Brian kan kita semua lahirnya di sini. Okay. And we moved to California. Okay. So it's like a song representing that. Berarti lu juga sempat tinggal di Indonesia dong? Yeah. Dari lahir. Like I I grew up here. Baru pindah ke US setelah di I'm mo- Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So I moved like Well, I professionally mo- like I kind of like professionally moved like October 2021. Oh baru dong berarti ya? Ya baru, baru pindah. Nah like, itu gimana? Um, Kalau kita ngomongin soal perspektif orang tua nih. Ya. Yeah. You're like 20 right? I'm 20 now, ya. Yeah. Terus mau pindah ke? US. US. Ya. Yeah. Buat mengejar <coughs> karir sebagai rapper. Di, digamparin gitu enggak? Lempar sendal gitu kayak, enggak belajar, belajar gitu enggak? Uh, <sighs> not really, no, no, no. Oh no, enggak? No, no. Ya, yeah, she was, I love my mom. Shout out to mom. Uh, love yeah. you too mom. She's... She's the best, seriously. You're the best, mom. <laughs> Berarti gue bisa ambil dari perkataan lu, she's the best, artinya dia support lu support banget nih. Support banget, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. So Tapi it's yeah. only until like Sugar Town did well actually. Oke. Okay. Because dul- dulunya dia gak believe in me. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, ya yeah, ini anak, like what is he doing in his room? Like, yeah, yeah. every day bikin apa gitu. And she didn't think it was gonna work, but like, you know, one of my songs uh, got more attention and she started like believing in it. Started making money off that independently. Nama juga orang tua ya. Iya. Yeah, mereka so. akan percaya ketika mereka sudah melihat. Benar. Oke okay, tapi, nah gimana? Jadi lu tinggal di US itu, eh ber, apa, pindah US itu sendiri? Apa sama orang Aku, tua juga ikut? Iya, yeah, my mom followed me to oh, the US. Oh, that's yes, cool. Of course. Um, also she has like, you know, she's not gonna do anything out here. She wants to take care of me. I'm the only child juga. Oke, oh, oke. Okay, okay. Jadi kayak dia, wanna see, she wants to see what's going on. Jadi kan kayak bestie dong di sana ya? Kayak bestie sih, ya. Sebenarnya. I'm really close to my mom. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Kalau berkarir di sana gimana? Kan ini kita kan, gue kan gak tahu ya, berkarir di luar selain Jakarta kan. Jakarta is my city man. Iya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, West Coast represent. <laughs> Jadi kan gue selama ini kan cuman tahu kehidupan di Jakarta. Sementara lu bisa experience dua-duanya gitu. Sebelum dipindahin, eh, dipindahin. Sebelum lu pindah ke yeah. US kan lu udah pernah berkarir di sini independently. Yes. Itu bikin album Curi Tahun waktu itu. Uh, terus pindah ke sana juga bikin-bikin musik bersama kayak uh, anak-anak etiata racing lainnya kan. Iya. Yeah. Apa perbedaan yang paling signifikan yang lu lihat? Probably studionya sih. Studio, studio. time. Yeah, that's okay. the most different and experiences. So experiences. yeah, kayak, I feel like I write a lot of my music mm-hmm. based off like in the moment gitu, kayak experience. So it's like in Jakarta, I mean, you know, it was not not crazy. I didn't have like crazy ideas yet. I didn't experience to the full length that I can. Okay, okay. I can express fully. But in America, it's like every day is kayak new things come up in LA. It's like a very weird like situation. And it's like everything's happening all at once gitu. Jadi kayak, that's the most significant I feel like. Pokok gue pindah sana aja ya? Gak tau kan? Gak kayak gue gak gitu lah, gue deh kesini aja deh. Nah kalau, itu kan kalau dari sisi positifnya. Nah kalau kita bahas dari sisi minusnya. Minusnya? Iya di sana apa? Lu pernah kayak homesick gitu gak kayak? Aduh gue pengen, very pengen sate gitu, taichan gitu <laughs> yeah. atau kayak apa kayak. Indonesian food di LA sih gak, gak bagus sama sekali sih. Gak enak ya? Gak enak sama sekali. Ya yeah, there's no like original kayak gimana ya, you know, Indonesian yeah, food there. Good, yeah. It's like, there's this one restaurant named Simpang Asia okay. in LA and that's the one I go to the most. Tapi itu kayak, let's say it's like sate. That's yeah. like that. You know, there's not a, you know, there's not a real, you know, like it westernized. It's yeah, very westernized. Yeah, 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 you get yeah. what I mean? Kayak di replika aja. Yeah, gitu, gitu, ya. gitu. Yeah, exactly. Berarti lu kangen ayam padang dong kalau di sana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love padang. Di sini udah makan ayam padang? Yes. First week back. <laughs> First week langsung, <laughs> langsung makan ayam padang. So unhealthy. Oke, okay, itu kan minus dari makanan. Sorry, makanan dong. Melenceng ya. Dari karir, minusnya apa kalau di sana? Uh, I think it's just like, gimana ya the people is different i feel like the people what do you, you know mean it's that? like some i don't know there's like a lot of fake people there mm. i feel like and i'm gonna have to be strictly honest with that Kalo and this is truth indonesia lebih straightforward i feel like yeah oh. a lot a lot of people are more straightforward to me emang kita banyak yang gak tahu diri di indonesia sorry ya <laughs> um itu minusnya berarti ya yeah. uh, how about your fans uh, is it better di indonesia atau di luar kayaknya i don't know i feel like My fans are, there's a lot more in the US, I feel like. Oh, okay. Well, for what I've seen, because like, even dari awal when I was independent, kayak, 
all my YouTube views and I'm like seeing my Spotify analytics. Itu dari luar semua. Itu dari luar semua. And I was like really surprised too. Tapi kayak, it's also because my music really is like focused to like a US okay. market. I yeah, feel like yeah, gitu yeah. kayak, gimana ya kayak, I don't know. And YouTube videos and the way I stylize it gitu is like yeah. very for the US market. So Emang udah ngikutin culture sana banget aja gitu ya. Iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. Buat mereka lah ya. Mm-hmm. Kalau uh, pernah nggak kepikiran buat kolaborasi gitu sama musisi-musisi Indonesia gitu? Um, ada nggak musisi Indonesia yang you look up to gitu siapa kayak atau mungkin lu suka aja deh nggak harus look up to? Dulu gue sih inspirasi dari Bob Yosugi. Oke okay, Yosugi. Yeah, And yeah. dia kayak almost like an OG to me. Mm-hmm. Like um, he was my first ever like wow this came from Indonesia and this is rap. You know, yeah, like, yeah, okay. like my favorite genre ever, and I'm like so surprised. His song "Messages" that was like the first mm-hmm. guy, Indo rap, and then it was Brian after actually. Okay. But yeah, I really like I really like his style. Everything. Berarti Yosu gitu ya. Yosu is tight. Kalau like yang kayak lebih komersil gitu, kayak yang nyanyi panyi yang jualan gitu, kayak Tulus. Hmm. Lu tau Tulus nggak? I think I, yeah, I know I know about him. I don't listen you, you to him. You think? Though. Wow. Kunto, I've heard I've heard. Kuntoaji, Kuntoaji. Susah ngomong sama bule ini anjing. <laughs> I know Psycho G though. Pernah dengar? oh you know Psycho G? Yeah, I like Psycho G, I like Lays too. Lays, ya. Yeah. Berarti cool. uh, kenal lama mereka? Uh, pernah ketemu. Pernah do, ketemu. Like a couple of times. Gak mau, gak mau, gak mau kolaborasi, uh, bikin rap Indonesia gitu gak bisa ya lu ya? Gue belum ready. <laughs> Kalau no. bikin kayak gitu. Bener no. sih ya. Yeah. I think that's just something I'm not really like. Susah ya gak mau bahasa Indonesia ya? Iya yeah, itu susah banget. Sama-sama gue juga grew up in like. <laughs> Nevada. Damn. Damn, bro. Dry ass weather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oke, okay, kita lanjut lagi. Akhirnya lagu lu itu uh, sempat mengisi soundtracknya Shang-Chi. Ya. Yeah. Itu kan film besar layar lebar Marvel. Kayak gimana prosesnya bisa lagu lu masuk ke sana gitu? It was a very weird situation awalnya. Because uh, I got signed to 88. Mm-hmm. And then kayak the first 3 bulan. Sean langsung bilangin kayak, lu ada project Shang-Chi, Marvel gini. I'm like, what the? At first actually, he said <laughs> Shang-Chi, right? Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is Shang-Chi? Like aku kayak uncultured about Shang-Chi. Like I don't yeah. even know what Shang-Chi is. And he said it's a Marvel movie. So then I was like, oh shit, that's crazy. Kayak gue kayak, you know, I, don't, I didn't believe it. So, it's crazy. I don't know, Itu the process is... Tiga yeah. bulan pertama lu pindah? Iya, enggak, tiga bulan. Like sign, like after oh, sign. Oh, abis kontrak Abis ya. kontrak, yeah. And I was still in Indonesia. So it was like kind of weird. <sighs> Jadi bikin lagunya di? Di Indonesia banyaknya. Di yeah. Indonesia? Yeah. And then oh, I finished shit. some of them in LA. Jadi itu langsung aja tiba-tiba dikasih project sebesar ini. Yeah. Jadi your first project setelah sign itu Shang-Chi. That's like my second maybe. Oh second, okay. Yeah, I've, I've recorded like a bunch of my solo stuff. Okay, okay first. Okay. And then Shang-Chi was like the, yeah, the first big one. Yeah, for sure. Pressure? Gila pressure, yeah. It's crazy. Like, I don't know. It was, I don't know. I don't know how to think during that time. Yeah, see. Tegang, see. So yeah, it's like, I have to represent a whole, like, continent almost. Oh. Asia, you know <laughs> Asia, I mean? yeah, yeah. It's not even only like a city or anything. And like, and Asian Americans too. Jadi kayak, it took a while. So we had to get notified early. Okay. So that's why. Mereka banyak revisi nggak? Kan agensi-agensi di Indonesia banyak banget revisinya ya. Like, you mean by that? Kurang nih lagunya. Gitu kayak, ganti-ganti beatnya. Wah lirik lu kurs gitu. <laughs> banyak sih, I think. Banyak juga ya, karena yeah, ya yeah, itu kan yeah. emang buat project besar banget kan ya. Yeah, but usually it's just like, usually the second drafts and like third drafts. Because we don't gonna ruin the first like oh, magic. Oh, masterpiece, gitu. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you know, there's a lot of references. Kamu harus kayak, you know, you have to like tick all these boxes that, oh. that you know, you have to understand kayak plotnya gimana. You have to understand sonics of, this, of the whole album gimana. Seru What's the story? Itu. So you have to dive deep into it. And kayak, you know, you have to put your own, you know, what, what you believe in, in the project too. So there's a lot of factors that come with it, almost. Susah banget berarti ya. I would say... It's pretty difficult. Very, very hard, yeah. Especially with that pressure, yeah. Iya yeah, sih, lebih lebih ke pressure-nya sih. Karena yeah. kayak ini kalau lagunya nggak oke, okay, nggak bagus, kayak gue hmm, nama kalo gue Kalau nggak important, kalau nggak important even. You yeah. know, oh, yeah. if it's not even important, like 
you have to carry so much baggage gitu kan kayak <laughs> tapi untungnya you pulled it off no of course yeah um, amen <laughs> amen what do you mean by that halo udah kerup ya jangan lupa buat follow instagram dan tiktok ya folix di at folix.media kalian bisa ngikutin keasikannya folix media dan jangan lupa buat komen like subscribe youtube juga ya mari <laughs> Oke okay, ini lanjut ya. Uh, you have an upcoming tour di US. Ya. Yeah. Namanya Boy of the Year Tour. Boy of the Year Tour. Yes. Yaitu di bulan Oktober. Oktober ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Itu cuma di US doang. Di US doang ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. North America. Uh, tapi kan lu baru juga ngeluarin single. Mm-hmm. Judulnya Handsome. Ya. Yeah. Nah suka nih gue Handsome. My middle name. <laughs> uh, itu tentang apa ya? Itu, itu self claim atau kayak? Kayaknya gue kayak during that time I recorded it, I was just angry, honestly. Why? I was just really Please angry explain. in the studio. I don't know. I feel like me and Chazu kan we went through a lot of shit making this album, mm-hmm. and it's like I don't know. It's like we wanted to tap into more aggressive rap music. Okay. And for the shows, especially gitu. Jadi handsome ni tentang apa cerita ya? I mean, it's it is definitely about just like. You know, being braggadocious, of course, mm-hmm. and self-reflection and shit like that. Keren banget self-reflectionnya handsome. You know, you have to be confident sometimes. Berarti kalau gue bikin uh, lagu kira-kira pur. Self-reflection, pur. Bagus gak kira-kira? Hit, hit gak? I think if it's stylistically, creatively tapped in, mm-hmm. bisa. Bisa lah ya. Yeah, I'm yeah. poor, yeah. <laughs> you are too, yeah. <laughs> Bagus ya. Etiata Rezin, contact me, oke? Okay? <laughs> oke, okay, nah, nih, di tahun ini, lu tadi barusan aja bil, uh, kita bahas lu bakal tour di US. Yeah. Boy of the Year. That's Terus right. lu uh, ngeluarin single baru. Yeah. Any other surprises coming up this year? Yeah, so Boy of the Year is my album name, basically. Ooh. So, that's, I'm just gonna drop an album. Soon. Soon? July 29th. Tuh oh, guys, July 29th. Yeah, album, album coming out. But this is your uh, second. This is my second, second basically. Album. Well, first technically debut album. Okay. You know. Like the kind of. Kind of because I haven't released anything since 2019, mm-hmm. like, or like a full project. You know, yeah, okay. it's Did a lot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the big project. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, it took like two years. Okay. Other than that, ada lagi nggak kayak apa ke Etiata Rizim mau pindah ke Indonesia gitu nggak? Um, we have a Hen and Cloud festival here. Oh yeah, yeah coming yeah, soon. Yeah, we have. Soon. I have another festival in uh, August. Hen and Cloud as well. Oh. So it's just a bunch of shows and festivals. See this okay. year Tunggu for me. Supaya nggak ketinggalan, langsung aja follow gue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Itu pertanyaannya basically udah sampai situ doang. Okay. Kita nggak mau terlalu dig it too deep. Okay. Cool. Uh, karena di sini lebih ke pertanyaan yang tidak bermutu ya. Tadi terlalu bermutu untuk mereka mereka agak bingung. Okay. Lagi ngomongnya pakai bahasa Inggris ya. Okay. Orang-orang ceritain pada ha ha apa emang. <laughs> <laughs> per- Sorry guys. Uh, kita bakal ke Would you rather? Kini kita main game sedikit. Mm-hmm. Choose your choices and tell us why. Oke. Okay. Tapi jawabnya harus cepat tidak boleh mikir terlalu banyak. Oh. Oke, okay, okay. mulai dari sekarang. Satu, menunggu atau ditunggu? Menunggu. Kenapa? I don't know. I feel like it's respectful. Ditunggu lah nya. Gila, I'm worried you what the fuck. Gue ditunggu. I'm I can't do that to, to a person. Gila. Ya. Yeah. Hatinya mulia sekali ya. Okay. I was that way. Jadi lebih baik menunggu ya. Yep. Lebih respectful. Yes. Okay. Find true love next year atau feeling satisfied tonight. True love next year. Iyalah, ngapain satisfied tonight, man? No, I can't. Di penjara 5 tahun atau koma selama 10 tahun. Oh, gila ya. <laughs> Oke, okay. di penjara 5 tahun atau koma selama 10 tahun. Penjara 5 tahun. Penjara 5 tahun ya. Semoga tidak ya. Tapi yep. ini kalau disuruh milih ya. Yep. Hilang penglihatan atau hilang ingatan? Penglihatan. Penglihatan? Ya. Yep. Jadi lu lebih baik punya memorinya? Yes. Oke, okay. kenapa? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I would wanna, <laughs> I would wanna appreciate my my 20 years of li- living on this earth more. And I, I, all I need is music to live. Oh. And like just sounds. I, I feel like I'll live with sounds gitu. Fair enough, fair enough. Punya anak cowok atau cewek nih? Both. Harus pilih satu. 
kalau disuruh pilih kayak gue maunya punya anak <tuh> apa aja yang dikasih ke Tuhan ya cowok lah collab bro bisa collab <tuh> sih uh, realistically I would want to have each oh, so like just ya. two that's it I don't want more I don't want like five Gila. kayak lima atau enam gitu It's di, like di US emang juga me. dijalanin tuh dua anak cukup gitu tahu sih gak tahu but, ya but I mean satu-satu lah satu-satu ya. is like you know that's perfect I get to witness two innocent genders as they grow up and they're like you know you can like understand them oke okay. berarti itu both of them both so you can ya. respect both of them oke okay. dia dia gak milih berarti dua-duanya yep. punya pasang <coughs> punya pasangan yang seks edik yeah. atau pasangan yang super sibuk super sibuk kayak what <laughs> I need, gue sih, aku lebih demen alone time. Sama, sama banget. Gue juga beringat. Sex addict, that's like, that's just like annoying. You oh, know what I mean? Lu gak terlalu suka punya pacar? Ya, yeah, but like, kalau super sibuk kan, you can still have sex though. Iya, yeah, bener. Kan? But just like, not all the time. Jadi lu dapat waktu lu sendiri, dapat waktu yeah, sendiri. Iya, exactly. Kan? If it's, that's just annoying, it's every day. Kalau like gue sih, mungkin pacar, pacar, hyper sex sih. <laughs> sibuk gak usah, gak usah, gak usah. usah. <coughs> Oke, okay, ditangkap karena maling jemuran atau maling ayam. Ini siapa? Ayam, ayam ya. Yeah. Lebih kayak. That's like, yeah. Berwibawa gitu ya. Gitu. Yeah, of Buat course. Nyolong ayam gitu, bukan yeah. pakaian. It's like you know, it's good out here in Indonesia. You put every everyone on to Indonesian ayam. Betul ayam. Oke, okay, ini ada uh, next uh, segment. Itu kita ada punya budak rupiah questions. Basically, this is the most unimportant thing in this podcast. <laughs> Jadi ini akan ada pertanyaan-pertanyaan dari followers-followers Savolix. Oke. Okay. Dan tidak ada yang penting. Oke. Okay. Jadi please bear with us. Dari Hana, ini for example kita kita langsung masuk. Dari Hana underscore 202007. Gila, ini seriusan weren't you? Bingung mau kasih pertanyaan berkualitas apa? <laughs> Udah mesti itu doang. I don't know what to say. Same, Hana. Same. You can ask me any question. Tuhan. It's have to be quality. Tahu oh, bukannya nanya malah gila nih seriusan. <laughs> Next. GP in GP Insani. Jajanan pasar favorit Warren apa? I like kue-kue. kue-kue. So like gelapis or like Oh, lapis legit. Oleh like klepon. Klepon. Kue tete suka enggak? I love kue tete actually. Iya yeah, kan itu enak banget. So gila ya. kayak crunchy on the outside and then Right and there's a little like nipples in the apa? <laughs> That green nipple itu ya. <laughs> What? Am I eating Americans Hulk? get confused also. Oh iya. Because I explained that. Kayak kue tete is like a really real snack yang exist in Indonesia. Tapi itu enak banget sih. Enak banget, ya yeah, exactly. Kue cubit juga, kue cubit. That's also good, ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. I love I love all kue. Oh, cocok, cocok nih. Okay. Uh, tapi lu gak, uh, selain kue gitu, kayak batagor, somai. Oh, I like somai too. Oh, somai juga suka. Iya, yeah, iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. Batagor gak? Cakwe, like, cakwe, like, nyender. Okay. I'm like okay with those. Yeah. Cakwe gak? Pernah, tau cakwe gak? I know Chakwe, but I'm not into that. Oh, as much as Shomai, yeah. I think Shomai is more like Chinese, right, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like... Tapi kalau di sini Bandung sih, bukan Chinese. Oh, Shomai yeah, yeah. Bandung. It's still good, though. Very good. Shomai. Okay, next question. Eating Tiwul. Gimana reaksi Brian waktu lihat foto kalian dulu? <laughs> First, um, dia comment, of course, on the on the post. He was like, what the fuck, this is you? Gitu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in real life, it's also, what the fuck, this is you? <laughs> That's literally the the real life reaction. Oh jadi dia tuh belum terlalu ngeh itu kalau kayak kalian pernah foto dan segala macam gitu. Iya dia tetap gak bisa register di di kepala dia. Kayak it's still crazy. Gak masuk core memory dia. Ya? No, because I I first went to LA and like in the first week I I met Brian mm-hmm. and he was like nice to see you again man and that's just so weird gitu kayak wow nice to meet you again gitu tapi technically ini pertama kali ketemu gitu. Iya yeah, iya. Yeah, But it's yeah. like we met before, which is Must be very weird. weird for both of you ya. Yeah. No, it's very weird for sure. Kita pernah, gue dulu ngefans tau tapi kayak, okay. <laughs> sekarang kita kayak mm, bestie. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird um, you have to climb over that barrier almost. Betul sih. Tapi ya, ya kalian kalian dekat uh, in real life juga kan sekarang. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Your guys. He's like the close. only like Indonesian like, well him and Nikki of course, but he I hang out with Ryan mostly. Oh, okay. Yeah, he takes care of me in LA. <laughs> The big brother ya dia di sana. Exactly, he knows the ropes. Oke, okay, jadi uh, next question. Dimas HW underscore. What's your biggest culture shock? Culture shock. Oke, okay, lu kaget gak waktu kayak anjing semuanya pakai bahasa Inggris gitu gak? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think 
the communication again. Communication ya. Kayak omongnya kayak di supermarket or anything or like in a restaurant gitu kayak. Oh hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Gitu kayak. Harus kayak gitu ya. Harus kayak gitu. Thank you. Oh like as for the bill and they're like tip and then there's like banyak conversation. There's a more conversation di situ. Oh dibanding di sini ya. Yeah kayak. In the registration, like, oh, like, how's your week? Gitu, kayak, oh, like, yeah, how's your yeah, week? Yeah. I'm like, shit, I've never got that question in my <laughs> life. How are you feeling? I don't know how the fuck I'm feeling. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mereka lebih bahasa bahasanya kayak gitu ya? Iya, yeah, gitu. Kalau kita di Indonesia, gak apa kabar, baik, yeah, selesai. Iya, apa kabar, done, that's it. You just leave. Itu kayak straightforward gitu. Itu oh, berarti lumayan shock tuh ya di situ. Iya, iya, iya. Banyak itu, pertanyaan ke gue nih. Iya, iya, iya. Aku okay. kayak not used to that shit. Selain itu, ada lagi gak culture shock waktu di LA? Um, I think the... <sighs> Probably like the sodium and MSG content in food, probably or some oh, shit. Oh, di sana minimum ya. Yes, like it's like so bl- like a lot of the food is bland, gitu. Yeah, yeah, the LA. It makes it sound like I really hate LA, by the way, but I don't. I, I really don't. You, you I do love like it. LA. It's beautiful, but. Like your MSG-nya kurang kurang micin ya. Yeah, I think that's it. Pantas too. negara mereka Especially maju. if you come from Indonesia, you're eating all this crazy shit. Yeah, hey, be nice itu. Like. Gak asin mah, gak makan kita. Yeah. Exactly. Berarti itu itu shocking ya. So yeah. beli beli MSG sendiri nggak kayak? <laughs> gue taburin di setiap makanan gue nggak. <coughs> Mama gue beli sih ya. Ah. Taruh di dish semuanya gitu. Nice, tante. You know the way. Of course. Okay, next. Yo titik Aldo. How do you survive when you are at your lowest? Oh, tiba-tiba tough question. <laughs> That's pretty deep, but um, I say do do something like an activity. Maybe if you're at your lowest, I don't know if you're feeling down. You're probably overthinking, you know, like, mm-hmm. you're probably in the bed thinking about some shit. So like, I think you you do an activity, work out, go to the gym, push ups. You know that that's gonna like increase your dopamine levels in your brain, or like do something lo, passionate. Lo pernah kayak ngerasa terpuruk kayak gitu kayak I'm at my lowest. Um, I don't think lowest, tapi kayak low. Very pernah. low. Yeah. What I did you do? Push ups. Dude, uh, <laughs> push-ups, you know. Pokoknya apapun yang harus yeah, just don't look at your phone. Yeah, don't, don't look, look, look at your phone. No. Oh, that's actually Kaya very nice. Spend time with your family and like Bener sih, itu kan live in reality. Kan gitu, source kan. of overthinking kan yeah. phone tuh. Bener, bener. Bener sih. Jadi exactly. jangan lihat HP kalian. No. Live Work out. in the moment. Work out. Yeah. Supaya at least lu sedih gak apa-apa yang penting pada lu bagus gitu ya. Yeah, exactly. You're at least improving <laughs> something gitu kan. <laughs> bener, bener. Ah, next time gue sedih gue gitu <laughs> ah sakit hati sit up <laughs> gue akan terapkan itu ya yeah. next question dari kentang ceria mm. happy potato kentang ceria tuh hati happy potato ya Warren. cool name no it's not okay please kentang ceria change your um, yeah. <laughs> how do you see yourself in 20 years Warren as a musician or a big star I love where yours fit theory, by the way. Oh, thank you. But um, yeah, 20, 20 years, I, I don't know. I might not even make music by then. I don't know. I actually really don't know. Maybe like, so yeah, I'm like into like different things. I probably will go into a different, you know, thing. I'll probably move into a different passion. I'll be interested in something else. Like I wanted to, I want to like do fashion, gitu. Kayak aku mau, you know, belajar. The world of fashion mm-hmm. and understand that and you know get into more of other art mediums gitu kayak bikin film atau kayak tv series something like that pokoknya anything in arts berarti apapun yang masih berbau seni lah ya yeah, in yeah. 20 years but hopefully i get you know long lasting music that's my also goal for I mean, music, yeah. kita juga mendoakan ya yeah. um, <laughs> jadi kalau musician you're not sure yourself tapi bakal tetap melakukan hal yang berbau-bau seni yeah. Yeah, that's a nice answer. Okay, this is the last question of the Budak Rupiah question. Dari It's Me underscore your babe. Mm. Okay, babe. Warren, what is your biggest dream? Uh, to be, I don't know, for my family to be happy, I guess. Still together, functional, for me to be happy. You know, comfortable in wherever I'm living, <coughs> and yeah, being able to live my fullest potential, do everything I want, anything I want, gitu. So that's your biggest dream, yeah. Yeah, as long as I have that, and I can do anything. That's enough. That's enough, man. 
Jadi lu nggak lu nggak butuh kayak kaya banget atau apapun yang um, def- uh, money. Money ya. Yeah. Also, yeah. I feel like that as a gateway to freedom gitu. Betul. Just freedom, I think gitu. That's my favorite. Setuju nggak kalau ada yang bilang uang itu uh, tidak membuat kamu bahagia? I disagree. I think, I think money makes you happy. Yeah. I think that's a bullshit quote in my opinion. Some people can say that. I feel like a lot of you know richer people would say that. Obviously. Betul sih. But, Karena mereka udah punya uang ya. Kan? Yeah, that's why. But it's it's freedom. It, it allows you to buy whatever you want. Allows you to you know. Live however you want. You, you pay medical bills. You can pay your family. Make sure your family's eating good. How's that not ha- ha- happiness? I feel like. <laughs> Benar sih. Patut gue pikirkan itu baik-baik ya. Yeah. Ayo deh. Gue mulai besok gue jadi kaya aja deh. Oke, okay, Warren segitu aja buat sesi hari ini. Thank you for coming by the way. Of course, thank you so much for having me. Mau meluangkan waktu untuk datang ke Viniar ya. Buat kalian yang lagi nonton, jika ada pertanyaan lanjutan buat Warren, tanya aja langsung di Instagramnya karena kita nggak akan ketemu lagi. Dia mau balik ke, ke LA bulan depan. Tapi thank you for watching. Jangan lupa nonton Viniar di episode-episode lainnya. Terima kasih Warren. Thank you so much. Uh, sampai ketemu you. lagi. Sukses selalu. Dan sampai bertemu di episode selanjutnya. Bye-bye. Yo, I'm Warren Hugh. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for having me. And make sure to watch all the other episodes on this channel. On Volix.